All right, how's it going? It's uh, RW again. Today, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a cheap and easy way to deprime brass uh, for reloading. Uh, me and my dad uh, kind of reload quite a bit, uh, but he has the press, which is about an hour away, and I don't want to drive an hour away to deprime and clean my brass. So I bought a tumbler myself, and I'm going to show you a very easy and simple way that anybody can deprime brass. Uh, first of all, what you're going to need is just a 116 uh, pin punch right there. Uh, you can get that at, uh, I think I got mine at Home Depot, and it was like 9 bucks. So, you know, you can get a press with a die set for, you know, uh, you know, 40, 50 bucks, or you can get a $9 uh, pin punch. So, that, and, uh, a hammer that's all you need and of course some brass so uh, just to show you really quick uh, most there's a little hole at the bottom of the brass okay that's that's the flash hole and look it's the perfect size for your punch keep that in mind okay the next thing you're gonna need is and it's I uh, use different sizes for different calibers but say for the 40 and 45 that I'm gonna be doing today guess what you can get a little millimeter, um, just a, a socket from a socket set. Uh, I use 12 millimeter for 45, 11 millimeter for 40, and then uh, 10 millimeter for 9 millimeter. Uh, don't really shoot a whole lot of 9 millimeter. I don't have a 9 millimeter, so um, I do have a friend that's got a 9 millimeter and likes uh, reloading it. So uh, I deprimed a bunch of brass for him, but. Uh, this is going to be really easy. It's going to be real quick, okay? It's taking me longer to tell you what you need than it's going to take me to actually do it. So let's take our 45 here. And you want to make sure this square part goes in the bottom because that's where the primer's going to come. Uh, that's where the primer's going to come out. Flip this over here just a little bit, okay? Because uh, that's, uh, that's where the primer's going to come out. Set it on the ground or set it on there. Look, 45 fits perfectly in there. Find that little hole. At the bottom, set your pin punch on it, straight up and down. Boom, primer's out. Doesn't take that big of a hit, and uh, doesn't take that big of a hit, and it, it's real easy. The biggest thing that takes most time is finding the hole on the bottom. So uh, you can do a whole bunch really fast using this method. So let's see, we find our little hole, fits down in there, good tap. And look, there's your primers. Easy peasy, right? No damage to the, the brass. You get on a roll doing this, make sure to find a hole. You get, a, get on a roll doing this, and you could deprime a whole bunch of brass in a very short period of time. I did about 2,000 rounds uh, a couple of days ago. Not yesterday, the day before yesterday. And uh, again, that's just because I'm standing up doing this. There's no damage to anything just my pride primers out and again primers out and there's all your primers you just you know set those aside and you know throw them away wherever so is that all we got for 45 okay so now I'm gonna do 40 uh, but this time we're gonna go a little bit faster just as if I was doing this on my own and not for a video primer out and always want to check and make sure that the primer actually came out sometimes the primer gets stuck on there but that's more of the punch than the, the technique and last one So as you can see, it's real easy, uh, real simple. All you need is a punch. Uh, I use a 116 punch. Uh, just any hammer will do. You can get a rubber hammer, you can get a regular hammer, you know, whatever. And then just a, uh, a millimeter socket set. This is uh, 11 mil millimeter that I use for 40, 12 millimeter for 45, and if you're a 9 millimeter fan, 
uh, 10 millimeter socket. So that's it. If you've got any questions, post it in the bottom and I'll answer them if I can. Any negative comments, again, will be deleted and it'll just be that known as that guy. All right. Thanks for watching.